Roof access is only granted to two groups, the Astronomy Club for stargazing, the cleanup committee to haul desks in and out. Yeah, let's haul a whole classroom up on the roof. There's an incoming call from God. Decline. Mm. Huh? Mm. <laughs> Holy shit, we're seeing the loading. Loading. Now loading. What? Boop, boop. Not... Wait. Only it's sappy. Uh. Don't get sappy. <laughs> get sappy. <laughs> Just get electrocuted guns. Nah, I'm not gonna get sappy. Aww. Fuck you. It's hard to believe I could forget someone as unique as her. Unique. And unique is one way to yes. describe it. Boop, boop, boop. My ass okay. needs to be charged. <laughs> <laughs> I, I crawl into bed. Who the fuck crawls into bed? Oh my god, no. It's a ghost. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, it's just David. Who could have known? Man, that dream I had last night was pretty <laughs> weird. Fucking hell. I mean, yeah, if you just meet a girl for one day and then you fantasize about her, yeah, I think that's pretty weird, fam. Here in the classroom, she's the star of the show. <laughs> but, but I know she's just playing the part. As her old friend, I know what she's really like. Fuzzy and plain spoken. <laughs> Did you see that? Huh? Your mom? Sony said just climbs the veranda's. I'm oh coming. Oh my god! Thank you for going along with my plan. I'm coming at the thought of her. <laughs> oh my god! She just looked at my desk. Oh, oh my god! Ah, I repainted the bottom of my desk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my pants need to be changed. They're all my white jeans, now. Now I have a giant hole in them. Never oh, mind. I, I repainted the entire ceiling. Look at this man. Oh god, she's the cat girl. Oh, yes. I'm the mom, mommy cat. I agree with the cat girl thing. This world is a video game. A program. And programs can be patched. The world will change. I'm gonna patch your mom to be fat. Got it. Miku nods absently and raises her phone into the air. I have a feeling I know who she's calling. Wow, Jesus Christ, is that serious? Dude, it's critical. Lives are at stake here, you little shit. Okay, it's, it, it's this. Yutaro opens his bag to show me a pair of... Man's got standards, what can I say? Yes, indeed. The very essence of a man's dreams. An artifact of male ambition! Yeah, I, I get it, thank you. Did you did you steal these? How dare you! I found the Hmm. Like that fucking makes it better. <laughs> Even my character's like, you, you, you found them. I did. Right outside our front door. <laughs> what? I found a dream lying right outside our front door. You said there's only four people in your family, right? I forget, did you have an older sister? Nope! A younger sister, maybe. Not a disco compadre! Oh, okay, th th then what do you have? Nice. Dad, a mom, a little brother, and me! Fucking me! Tell me, Shinichi, my brother in dreams. What do I do with this artifact? It's simple. Step one, be sure that you're mentally aware that you're fucking crazy. Step two, sniff them. You gotta get that smell out. Step three, burn them. Can I fap it? What is wrong with you, Akebono? But on the off chance there are, these are my mom's. My dreams are dead! No, they are improved. So, <laughs> <laughs>
the swamp. Do I, do I have to say it? Yes, say it. Say it. Swamp, say it. You <laughs> are what you eat. Swamp, say it. That MP. Swamp, <laughs> say it. Edmund, could you say oh, it for Swamp? Yeah. Because Swamp is a fucking pussy, right? Are now. you a tender? Sounds like you don't want any then. You thought it often ends up working in the register after school. If he happens to catch the three of us walking in together this late at night, well, let's just say things won't end well. Why didn't they end well? Like, what the fuck? I don't know. This guy thinks, like, whenever he's out with two girls, it's like everyone's gonna fucking destroy Yo, orgy! Yo! 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 Once you are around, all the other female fade into the background. So you'll forget about soon enough. You won't Never. get cocked, Shinichi. Excuse me. Oh, it's already patched. The universe to make sure. Get plenty of rest, you hear me? I look after Iru. Please. Do. Oh, he waves to me. Bye -bye. Have a good night. With that, she slowly disappears into the cafe. I watch her go until the elevator doors close. Bro, she, she MC really do be a dumbass. He is. She is she. Good morning. Stop shouting. Seriously. <laughs> what's this? Are you going? What's got me so worked up? Not in the least. Just go go away, please. Wink away. Bye bye. See you later, Totator. Well, you see. Don't ignore me. It turns out my brother Ryujiro has a crush on someone. Really? Really? I just got an email from the man himself. Well, that, that's good. Now he can have a more healthy romantic outlet. Aren't you happy for him? It's just that it's gone. It's surprising how much it hurts. My sad phantom. My dude, you should be happy that your brother doesn't have a crush on you anymore. You... God, we don't want incest in here. No, that depends. See, exact the main the main character gets me. He was your brother. But think about it, Shinji. He was cute, and he confessed to me. Does that sort of thing happen every day? It doesn't. It really doesn't. The doorbell keeps. Just take the fucking. It resounds inside my head, unending. Open the fucking door. Man, this guy's like, oh god. Oh, something bad's gonna happen. Oh, oh god. Oh. Uh. He's just, he's just, he's just writhing. He's having a seizure. That's what he's having. Maybe they'll leave after the last attempt. I start to reconsider. Huh? Is it over? I hope my breath is scanned for any signs of life. Shinichi, you there? Oh, he tumbles over the, the trash, the, the threshold. threshold into my house. Why does a sheet? Lost phone. Why she collapses onto dream? the couch. <laughs> oh, okay, that's an interesting collapsing noise. <laughs> she collapses into the, into the couch, just a fucking fork drop. Her voice is a little more tiny, feeble whisper. You know, I see that face, yeah. The only thing I can think of is the dialogue where she says, What well, gets happy. That is not the what face what is saying. with this? I think the developer kind of mixed up this. He's like, oh god, there's too many CZ. There's too many CG poses. We're taking this one. Like, uh, the thing thank that you. bothers me is the fact that proportions change, like, sprite by sprite, and it bothers me. David, how many sips have you taken of that accursed goddamn can? Look, I'm trying to get up to 50 sips, okay? The thing is, uh, I have plans tonight. Can it wait until after? For some reason, I can't bring myself Bro. to admit that I'm meeting up with Miyuki. Uh, fuck! I, look, I'm- I, Oh, God! <laughs> <He's faceless>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, I'm gonna quickly- uh, Oh, apparently she's just saying no. I, I'll, I'll wrap it up real fast and come straight back and- No. It's cold. 
This game isn't even cute. It's just fucked up. She's gone. The window? window is open. She threw herself out the window. Standing silent at the entrance to my room, perfectly still. She holding back her rage or... As She's I just past into her... It's empty. Now he's gone. Did she disappear? Where is she? I actually do not know. Well, I mean, you didn't know. Maybe she... I don't know, maybe she left to go look for her phone. I mean, to be honest, this girl is weird. I do not know. She was literally in my room before, and now she's not here. But I had shoes. Like, she was really out of it. She probably put mine on by mistake when she left. Oh, really? Miyuki doesn't sound the least bit convinced. Even I know it's a shivy cut. To be fair, I don't know where she is either. It's not even a cover story. I literally do not know where she is. I just don't want things to get I'm, any worse. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a um, bet on that she's under the bed. Is, is that her always phone? Huh. I would guess spot of it. <laughs> I bed. actually got it correct. <laughs> of course she was under the bed. My stomach turns to ice. Miyuki carries on. I hate this. I had a feeling this was hers. I, I mean, kind of had to go a bit back, but if she's not here, I guess I'll just go home. Do not. Wait, why did you want to meet at the bank? You're you're not making sense. You wanted to meet at the banning case, but you wanted to give her phone back. This girl does not make sense in my book. She's just not well written by now. She's confusing and is all hell. I'll hold on it for it for her. I raise my voice up a notch to drown out. I always whisper. She'll probably be back for her shoes sooner or later anyway. Mm, I guess that'll make sense. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy, silly me, I dropped it. The phone tumbles to the ground, slides across the floor and under the bed. Are you under here, I wonder? No, she's not there. Maybe slowly uh, lowers herself to the floor. Wait, maybe I'll get it. What's wrong? You're rocking rather pale. Oh, I get it. Haha. <laughs> Are you hiding something naughty under here? Hiding something smile. naughty under Maybe there? Maybe smile doesn't reach her, uh, doesn't reach her <laughs> eyes. I silently scream at her to stop, but my prayers fall in her deaf ears. She reached all the way under the bed and falls still. Gotcha. Hey, I got my phone back. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to load my save file. After that, poof, disappear. After that, I never after see that again. Hey, what are you? Sayonara. Bruh. <laughs> I walk out of the room and vanishes from sight. I chase after her. Oh, hey, wait! You're not in anywhere. Let go of me, she's not well! I don't care. Too bad now, let go, damn it! I'm not letting you go. She spins me around to face her. The guinea beat stock is just an excuse. I can't escape. But I'm finally ready to say it. I can't fight it. I'm ready to tell you the truth. I'm scared. The truth <laughs> about how I feel. Don't. Shinji, listen to me. Stop. Um, don't finish that sentence. I have a girlfriend now! Fa oh, my main character is gonna be stupid and say no. My, my phone's ringing. Shinichi. Oh, thank God, we got saved by the phone. It's Yutaro. He's probably calling about Aoi. I'm, I'm trash for using Aoi as my excuse, I know that, but it's the only choice I have. You're, you're choosing a phone call of a mate. Look, a bit, uh, look, look, waifu. I want to kiss you, but look, this phone call is kind of important too. I can hear a note of pleading in her voice. Her eyes are swimming with tears. But I look away. Hello? She just come back to the hell were you thinking throwing Muku out her on her ass in her condition? She stumbled all the way here all the way here with a kitten in tow. Uh I'm sorry. Say that to her, not to me. Hey, well I'll watch over for her now. Alright? Would you? Well you've you've got your hands full, yeah? I really owe you one. No sweat, see ya. And Miyuki's uh, gone. Secretly, I'd gotten my hopes up. Here I am at our childhood hangout spot. The places where I once changed her fate. And somehow, I convinced myself that maybe coming here would change mine. What? 
I couldn't hit a single ball. I couldn't even take a single swing. Huh. I'm left weakly in my own sorry state of affairs. I've never hated myself more in my entire life. I hear a familiar sound. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Small black kitten totters out from under the bench. Uh... Y Yuru, is that you? <coughs> the trash saver cat meows sweetly in reply. If Yuru's here, then... Oh no. I wish dead. Oh! You're not dead! Shinishi. Where have you been? Well, why bother coming back now? Are, are you here to point and laugh? No? Th then why are you here? Oh, I get it. You're here to patch things up. You think Miyuki and I have to get together, right? So you're trying to set me on the right route or whatever. Oh, I missed you. Once you're on a route, the other girls are supposed to fade into the background. So, I wasn't supposed to see you anymore, but... Oh, I missed you so much. Yeah, this conversation is a little too, 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 too late. And all I want is I'm filled with self-loathing. Fine, I'm gonna help her. I walk over and look at the bat lying on the ground. There's blood on the ground from where I always was holding it. Slowly, I pick it up. Shinichi. And stand in the batter's box. I assume my batting stance, then I focus my energy on everything directly in front of me. What's gotten into me? Even I'm not entirely sure. Or never, I never, I never, I never make it this far. Instead, I have to find a way to get out of it. And yet, here I am. Maybe I have always to thank for this. I can feel my heart pounding. I haven't felt this way in years. Pitching machine will shoot the ball and will prefer uh, and with perfect form on par with Miyuki's, I'll send it rocketing back directly in the home run target. I've had the same fantasy a thousand times. The pitching machine fires the ball. So far, so good. Miyuki. My swing misses completely. I promptly collapse to the ground. <laughs> Shinichi? Holy shit. I can't stop laughing. I have no excuse for that shameful display. I failed to hit a home run. I failed to make a miracle happen, and yet... Somehow I feel like I'm walking on cloud nine. Shinichi? Thank you, Aoi. With your help, I finally swung a bat again. I can just start over. It's not too late, right? Oh. Right. Sorry, but I've got somewhere else to be. I'm going to see Miyuki, and this time I'm going to tell her how I feel. Got it. As I get ready to take off, Aoi raises her hand. Shinichi, you're so cool. Hardly! No, really, you're the coolest. Until we meet again. A brand new Aoi will be waiting for you in another route. I have no talent. I'm a gutless ruler. I'll win for nobody. I'm not Prince. I can't hit a home run. And Miyuki's totally out of my league. It's all fact, plain and simple. And yet, I think back to always swinging her bat on so she could hardly stand. Was she pathetic? Were her tears wasted? No. With her help, I finally found the strength to take a swing. Home run or strike, it doesn't matter. All I have to do is keep trying. I understand that now. This guy is finally not an idiot anymore. Thank God. No matter how many times I told myself to let go. No matter how many times I printed it wasn't real. My feelings were always there, right from the very start. I've always loved her. She was my everything. So what did I what if I didn't transform into my prince for a happy ending? So what if real life doesn't work that way? I'm done lying to myself about how I feel. No matter where she is, I'll find her. Holy shit! Oh my god! I grabbed the ticket off the table. 15 minutes left until the show starts. He's gonna barge into the show, right? He's gonna just, you know, say the thing when she kisses. <laughs> I force my now latent legs to carry me all the way to school. <laughs> Fling off my shoes, I hurry to the old gymnasium where the performance is to be held. <sighs> ticket! <sighs> I'm so out of my breath, I can scarcely hold a conversation with the ticket clerk. 
Because I, I stopped my way into the auditorium. Most of the seats are already full. It's five minutes left until the show starts. The crowd is busy with the excitement and curse. That's why I searched the room. They are here! Okay, that's not searching the room. Shinichi? Jim goes dead silent. All at once, everyone's eyes are on me. Uh, it's like I'm on stage again. I'm just a bit player. I'm just a bit player compared to her, though. And I'm sure my lines will be laughed at. But this isn't an act. What's the matter? I need to tell you something. My breath still racked and forced the words. I forced the words out at full volume. I love you. Huh? It's true of all this time. I've never been able to admit it, but I love you, Miyuki. Well, I see. She looks like she's fighting back tears. I guess for breath. So fine, kid. Her expansion falters just a bit. I was told you would say that. She whispers, her, she whispers in a tiny voice only I can hear. I walk up to her. God, I'm getting... Why am I feel? Why am I feeling sad now? <laughs> and take her hand. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold it! What are you doing? The show's about to start. Oh, uh, uh. Fan outrage. Looks like that Miyuki switches back to her usual persona. Then the climax final scene arrives. I can't take it. I still have it in me. I want to get out of here. I need to leave. They don't want to have to watch this. I don't care if the whole audience laughs at me. It just feels like it's going to explode. Can't take this agony. Huh? Then I realize. Yuki's supposed to be performing right now. She's in the middle of her beautifully executed kiss scene, but as the two draw close, her lips twist with the heinous hint of misery. No one sees her slip into her flawless acting. No one but me. I don't care about the play anymore. I just care about Miyuki. I want to save her from her suffering. And to that end... Oh, no! No, no, oh, no! No, oh, no, no, I just... No! The distance between them closes in slow motion. I need to call her name. Oh, God, no, please. I need to ruin the performance and save her. Oh, please do not! Just let her fucking kiss! It's an act! Oh, no! I don't want to do the- I hate this type of thing. It's anxiety curled up to 10. I hate this. I always mute stuff when it's like, it's obvious what's going to happen. I jump to my feet in the middle of the audience. Oh, God. But, I, but just before their lips meet, the stage goes dark. What? It's a blackout. What? Oh, thank God it didn't do the cringe thing. I swear you didn't do anything. Me, Yuki squints at me dubiously. I mean, admittedly, if the power hadn't gone out, it's entirely possible I would have wrecked the show with myself, but all I did was stand up. You weren't giving the signal. What signal? I found this at the same. She pulls something out of her pocket and hands it to me. Oh. She got sappy. Well, I guess maybe I'm willing to try. Did I always change your mind? Yuki nods. She pauses for a moment and looks directly into my eyes. Oh, it's happening! It's happening! We've all waited for this! It's that they're finally banging! That's why. I knew something was off! She's actually gone. She's actually gone. Out of nowhere, a photo pops up on the screen. It's that photo we took together. We look so happy together. Wait, hold on a second. There is our special little place for just the two of us. So who the hell took this picture of us? Shinichi? Well, hold on, are you getting through my phone? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. Give it back. Before I can even resort, a very red-faced Miyuki snatched the phone back from me. You weren't really my diary, eh? Your diary's on there? Now that she mentioned it, I seem to recall seeing a folder full of what looked like photos and hand of handwriting notes, just judging from the thumbnail images. You take pictures of your diary entries? What for? Who would bother going to all that effort? Sh shut up, it's a free country, you know? I just want to be able to look back on my memories without you at any given time. 
But do you, I don't think it's that, that so wrong. I mean, no, it's actually not wrong, but um, it's always been the fastidious type. But I think she's getting a little overly upset about it. But to be fair, it wasn't too cool to me to look at stuff on her phone in the first place. I'm just telling you, I shouldn't have looked. Sorry, I won't cut it, I'm afraid. What do you mean it won't cut? What do you expect me to do? As your punishment, I want you to hit a home run in my place. What? You're gonna swing that bat until you get on. Or are you too scry at your strike out? Oh, you're, oh, you're on! Oh, you're on! Oh, I'll, I'll fucking do it! Can't have you calling me some kind of chicken now, can I? Well, I get up from the bench. You can hand me a metal baseball bat. Prepare to get schooled. If I a few swings, I know my batting stance isn't perfect. Especially not in comparison to hers. Why is there a Japanese man singing in the background? Looking kill, Shinichi. <laughs> Hardly. That really, you're the coolest. Wait a minute. I mean, I'm trying my best, but the rest is up to sheer luck. All I can do is summon up the full extent of my strength and take the swing. All right, bring it on. Good night. I know this will sound ridiculous. Trust me, I can scarcely believe it either. But believe it or not, when I hit that ball, it nailed that home run target. That center of my first. I'm a fucking badass! As if God made it happen just to mess with me. That was it? But wait, wait a minute. There's more to the story here. Wait a minute. Got an arrow of the same character? What? But wait, she vanished though. She straight up just vanished. What? So Aoi vanished after she helped me getting together. There's definitely something deeper here. I'm not gonna go into it because my god, I, I'm not gonna survive that, but. That ending there. I mean, it's perfect and all, but the picture and the cat. She actually disappeared. She actually straight up just disappeared. Not not just disappeared like a person, but she straight up fucking disappeared, like vanished from existence. And Iru, the cat, was still there. I'm believing what the title here actually refers to is that you is definitely Miyuki and me is David I mean uh, the main character and her is definitely Aoi I don't understand Aoi's place in the universe I'm assuming she's some guardian angel that was supposed to help me and Miyuki get together because that was fate as they said there's only one branching path and that's the one you could select me uh, Aoi but that would break the game that would literally go against the whole programming of the game. At least that's what I'm assuming. I don't know. I think I got the good ending or I mean, the normal ending.